you have a smooth brain. No ridges or lumps. So a smooth brain is actually caused by lysencephaly, which affects one in 100,000 children and is also known as smooth brain disorder. This disorder is caused by a chromosomal deletion, which occurs during pregnancy and whilst the baby is still in the womb and causes the baby's brain to be smooth when it comes out instead of having like ridges like the rest of us would have. If my video editing skills have worked at all, there should be two pictures down below and brains all have folds in them, usually within homo sapiens, so us. Now, the reasons that we and other mammals have these folds in our brain is because it actually maximizes the surface area of the brain, which leaves a lot more room for neurons, which are the most important parts of the brain because they help us make our decisions and obviously complete our actions. These guys are absolutely essential. And the folds in the brain also decrease the distance between them so that they can connect quicker. Now, lysencephaly is the rare genetic condition where these folds won't occur in the brain. However, it can be developmental as well as genetic, but it is mainly genetic. And thankfully, it is relatively rare, like I said, affecting one in every 100,000 children. But what happens here is the brain doesn't actually have folds, so they do have a smooth brain. The baby's lack of folds will be in the cerebral cortex of the brain, and the baby's head will also usually be smaller if they have this condition, and this is known as microcephaly. And it basically just means that the head is in the expected range of people who have that disorder. The folds in your brain aren't actually totally random, they're actually following some kind of system um, and then the neurons can use that and your brain can work effectively. If you do not have these, it can be pretty catastrophic. Interesting thing to note here, Albert Einstein's brain actually had a like increased amount of folds, so he had more folds than the normal person, which could be interesting. You could look at intelligence with that, but there's no definite. But what is super interesting about brain folds is that people with autism, bipolar and epilepsy could exhibit different brain folds. Whilst every brain is unique, these patterns could be different within these individuals, which is definitely an interesting thing to research and really interesting to just like, I don't know, that's kind of fascinating to me. But back to the development of these folds, these will happen when you're developing and people with lysencephaly will not develop these to the same extent as the rest of us. Unfortunately, this does give them a shortened life expectancy with most children with this disorder um, dying before the age of 10 years old. Um, so having said that, the oldest person with this condition is actually 30 years old. So they've gone on and outlived that life expectancy. So, you know, good for them. Hope they keep going. Lysencephaly can actually be caused by a lack of oxygen going to the fetus during development, but it can also be linked to those genetic mutations that I was on about earlier. Um, so it is kind of rare, but unfortunate if you do get it. 